Today, there's a lot of options when it comes to finish sanding. Back in the old days, there was only wet sanding and dry sanding by hand. And then along came the palm sanders that you can keep flat on the panel and they do a pretty good job. A speedy job, but hand sanding is still always more accurate than machine sanding. Anyway, you can use a palm sander with 240 to 320 on it. You can sand by hand with wet or dry sandpaper, or you can take an older disc or even a new disc, fold it in half and hand sand with that. You can wet sand with a block with 320, 400 or even finer. You can wet sand by hand by folding the paper like that and this just wipes the water away. Or you can use a totally dry system by Eagle Abrasives with a block an interface pad and pre-cut sandpaper that does not clog when you sand dry. If you choose a palm sander you'll keep it flat, move quickly and stay away from the edges and you'll sand the edges by hand. So let's give that a try. Just keeping it flat and sand, following the contour and staying away from the edges. You're moving sort of quickly, not staying in one spot, digging a hole, because it does sand fast. And that's good enough with the palm sander. We'll finish up the rest by hand. We could even hit up here with the palm sander too. And again, staying away from the edge. If you decide to dry sand by hand, you'll fold a half sheet of wet or dry sandpaper like that, or you can fold a DA sheet of paper in half like that. As long as you keep your fingers going like this and not like this, you'll be fine. So you're just going to sometimes do circles or back and forth like that. You want to stay away from going parallel to your fingers because that could make fingerprints. So obviously you're just going to sand it like you'd sand a piece of wood. Problem is with sanding, hand sanding, hand finished sanding is that your paper might clog depending on, might clog up depending on the paper that you're using and the type of primer. So that's the biggest problem. Hand sanding is that your paper will clog up. The biggest advantage with hand sanding is that you're able to stay very accurate and you're not going to mess up. Because you're hand sanding, you can take your time and not mess up any of these body lines. You're going to stay very careful around the body lines. Unlike a DA, a DA can flatten out a body line real quick. But hand sanding, you can take your time and focus on being very accurate. For the best quality and straightest finish, you'll want to wet sand with a block or even without a block. 
and you can give it a quick guide coat like that and we just have some water in an old Windex bottle and by hand I'm just going to get it wet. Usually you use a bucket but we'll just use a squirter and I like to do circles or straight and again if you go this way you can leave finger marks so we're just going to go sideways like this or in circles until we see that black paint disappear and the biggest advantage with wet sanding is you can see what you're doing and there's no dust so we can take our squeegee or a rubber squeegee and go like this and see if there's any black paint laying in the low areas and it actually is pretty relaxing you just keep sanding until it's all smooth 400 grit or 600 grit or 320 grit scratches and once again the biggest advantage is you can clearly see what you're doing And that's really that's really smooth and that's done there's no black left in any of the orange peel all the orange peel is gone all down to 400 grit scratches to get it even straighter you can wet sand with a block and again not much pressure at all, just letting the sandpaper do the work. And again, you can go in circles or angles like this, or even back and forth straight. Whatever you think is going to get the panel the straightest. And we're going to sand until all of that spray paint is gone, and we have it all down to 400 grit scratches or whatever sandpaper you're using. Another big advantage with wet sanding is that the paper stays clean. In other words, the paper doesn't clog up. If you prefer wet sanding but want to avoid the mess, Eagle Abrasives has come up with a totally dry system. You can use their block with their interface pad and that just adds a little bit of cushion to the sanding or you can use it without the interface pad for a more firm sanding surface. All of their sandpaper is pre-cut, so you just stick it on there, and you're ready to go. 
And with this system, it's just like wet sanding, minus the mess. And just with a quick clap, your sandpaper is clean again. So supposedly, this sand sanding method, the sandpaper stays completely clean. Just like wet sanding, only dry. And of course you're going to wear a mask, but in order for me to talk, we'll keep it off for now. Again, there's a lot of options for finished sanding. DA, dry sanding, wet sanding, a total dry system by Eagle Abrasives. But the most important thing to remember is sanding by hand is the safest method and machine sanding is the fastest. I hope this video helped clear some things up on finished sanding. If it did and you'd like to get my latest videos, don't forget to hit the subscribe button.